Hello everyone. My name is Panther from um, Gaming Art Craft. Please subscribe to my channel, Gaming Art Craft. Uh, I am what I do is uh, I'm a non-code developer that uh, de um, design games and applications on my uh, YouTube channel. Um, right now, you you'll see um, video clips of uh, games that was created on Coppercube. Um, 6.5.1 for um, for uh, non-coding gaming but right now I'm, I'm gonna be working on Flutterflow. Flutterflow is a non-code application for developing Android and iOS games. Um, I'm taking a break from um, game um, from Copper Cube and I'm gonna be focusing on Flutterflow doing Android applications. So, here we go. So, guys, um, most of the people that follow me, they follow me on Copper Cube. Do me a favor if you want to design Android applications on Android and iOS, please go to flutterflow.io, create an account, and start, you know, working on designing non-coding application games. It works. Uh, I render out a, a APK. Um, I haven't started with iOS, but I've been working on Flutterflow for, I could say, almost uh, three months. Three months, say four months, and it's been doing very well for me. Um, one of the applications that I was trying to create is a, a video call application where somebody can video call someone and everything um, through the phone and all that stuff so um, I'm gonna be talking about that so here in um, in this this uh, screen you'll see um, a UI these are called UIs these uh, these are the pages that you'll see that's on your um, on, on your your page so these are UIs so what you have here is I'm um, I have four UIs contacts calling uh, video call first caller where you will see the widgets of uh, MUX and video player video call second caller so you'll see all this in the UIs with the built-in widgets. The what, what is the widgets? Um, the widgets are this on your left-hand corner. You see uh, all the widgets for text, columns, rows, containers, image, buttons. They have it all. Um, they have st stacks, cards, list views, grid views, spacer dividers, virtual dividers. Um, anything you can name, they have the widgets for it. Actually, it's a cool program is an actual cool program this is flutter 3.3.4 version but this is a very cool program and you can design any application you want with this program and it turns out great you know so let me start with the first application so what we're doing here is a video call and what I have here is I created a list view of video calls where here you'll see it says name the button functions calling and accept right now it's it it, it acts like a like a live streaming but it's a live streaming for video call and what functions this is using is called mux mux broadcast uh, i'm using mux broadcast that gives the function for um, showing your video through the screen and how do you could do video broadcast um, I'm gonna send a link on explaining video broadcast and how to develop video broadcast uh, I'll send the link in the channel and it'll tell you more details about uh, bro MUX broadcast but right now I want to explain all the pages that's what's created um, I have one page that I created called calling so when you're calling somebody, it gives this function, and it's already animated. I I, I created a animation for it, and everything. So you, uh, I'll show it to you right now. I'll give you a preview of what it looks like. 
when somebody's calling. Just give it one minute to render. And here you go. This is what it would look like if somebody was calling. Um, I created two containers. One is a black container that's for the full background. And the other is a circle container, which I put animation on it uh, with a blur effect and with a bouncing and the, the, the name we're calling with the profile pics and you hit deny, um, it'll return back to the calling screen and all that. So in this, all the functions are working right now. So if I wanted to hit call, it will go right into the video call and then it'll accept the call. Okay. Um, that's why I created uh, two UIs for the video call. It'd be video first caller and video second caller. So when you're when you when you create your call, it's still it's still acting like a live stream. I still haven't figured out how to make it like where you just call somebody and it goes straight through. But it's still acting like a live stream. So whenever the call comes in, you just accept it, and then one one person will go to the first video call, first caller UI, and the other person will go to the second video caller UI, which they both have to put their name in um, to to activate the live stream, and then it'll activate it'll activate the the playback URL. So you'll hear the playback URL of the person talking, but you're live, right? And then on the other side. They'll hear the playback URL on their side and they're live. So you want to give it a test? I, I render out the APK. Um, I'll come back and and I'll record it and I'll show you the actual um, app. Right now I'm calling it Chat Now. That's the name of the app. It's called Chat Now. And uh so it just I just gave it a name so it can have something and I will show you how it looked like as a video call. Okay. So give me one minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So what you see here is the application called Chat Now. And what you see right now, you see the contacts of somebody calling and then accept. So right now, you know, in order for me to 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 make it work, I have to go live like as a video call hit live, create a name, say, I'll call it Chris, and then ready to roll, and there you go, you see, you see the actual visual of, of me, and I will be accepting a video call that will be coming in, and all. So the, the, the swirling is waiting for an actual video call to come in, but you will see the actual scream of me and all that of me here. So once I once that person accepted it and all and what I can just do is just go back and hit accept and and then I could just, you know, get that person to call and then, then accept. And uh, that's it, you know, uh, pretty much that's self-explanatory. So <laughs> it, it actually works. The video streaming work, but the playback URL is is something that I'm still working on. But I just wanted to show you that the video call through Flutterflow, it can work. Thank you, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, to Gaming Artcraft. Uh, I will be trying to work on Flutterflow more to see if I could create additional applications um, and tell me, give me some more hints on how I can fix this with the playback URL because I did read the tutorials on the MUX live streaming for for Flutterflow. But, you know, I want to hear from you guys, see how y'all can help so we can work together as a community. Thank you, guys. Subscribe to the channel.